What's up, y'all? We're here for my very first video podcast. As a matter of fact, this is my very first podcast of any sort. So I'm going out full-fledged, full force, and I'm going to try to do a video podcast. I'm going to be honest with you, it is a huge learning curve. But the only thing that we can do is we can dive in and we can figure it out. So my first topic, my very first topic for my very first video podcast is going to be something that I hold near and dear to my heart, probably the same for you all, and it is the subject of music. Why did I choose music? So my son and I were talking the other day, and we were just talking about how music is the universal language for everybody, right? Music has transitioned and transgressed through so many different generations. So I want to introduce my very first guest, my son, who is not quite as handsome as I, but I want to introduce my son, young Jordan. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, y'all. My name is Jordan. Um, currently in college, just trying to make my way, trying to figure out my way. Um, a lot of times I use music as my break, and so that's how I got here. You know, it's going to be kind of surprising, right? You know, people like to talk about this new generation and how they don't appreciate music. They don't understand uh, some of the music that we listened to back in the day. But I, I will tell you, I have to give this young man some credit because I could pretty much turn to any random station and he could probably understand the words or at least be able to recite the words of certain music here. As you can see on my shirt, I have a list of cassette tapes. I'm going to date myself a little bit, right? Cassette tapes. You probably remember those days back in the day when you used to get excited and used to open up the lyrics and be able to read through. We don't have that anymore. The way that you all get your music is a little different. How do you get your music today? So a lot of times it's uh, through streaming platforms. We have Apple Music, Spotify, uh, Pandora, YouTube, all of that. Um, lyrics right on the screen. Easy right access. on the screen. Let me ask you this. All right, so... There's this thing, most of you probably have never heard of it, but it was called an 8-track. Do you know what an 8-track is? Have I heard of it? Yes. Have I seen one or ever listened to anything off of it? No. What have you heard about 8-tracks? I'm assuming it plays 8-tracks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, 8-track. I don't know if you all remember. It used to be this big block that you used to put into this little device and it was huge right you know today we can carry around hundreds of songs listen to them at any random point but just imagine if you had something about this big and you wanted to listen to music back in the day that's what you had so if you're traveling you, you got to have some pretty deep pockets to be able to carry those around today is a lot more convenient but those eight tracks i've got some good memories of eight tracks back in the day now that is way way back i'm not that old but i do remember my parents listening to eight tracks what came after eight tracks do you know um, I'll take a guess. What you got? A CD. No, but we're going to get there. After eight tracks came the vinyl, the vinyl, the records, the record players. As you all can see, I left my hair natural today. I picked it out, but I did so in honor of my man, Sam Cook, Al Green. Y'all see how they were smooth and they was fly back in the day. Do you know any Al Green songs? Oh, yeah. What Al Green song do you know? See, you know I'm a man of play it and I can say it. Okay. So, I, honestly, I'm not really good with titles. All right, I, how about this? I say it and you sing it. Love and happiness. <clears throat> not the best singer, but bear with me. Love and happiness. <laughs> Make you do wrong. I, I don't hey, remember. He, I he, he, to remember. He, he remember got it. the gist. He got the gist yeah. down. So, the fact that this man is only 19 years old. He knows who Al Green is. I tell you this: if I were to play some Al Green songs, I bet he could sing along. Definitely. Sam Cooke, smooth, classy brother. I'm not trying to say that there's no smooth, classy people out there today, but Sam Cooke, smooth dude. I don't want him cheating because I got the words on the back of this vi this vinyl back here. But one of my favorite songs, I play it all the time, by Sam Cooke is what? What do you think it is? Let's just say it like this: <clears throat> It's been a what? It's been a long... There you go. A long time coming, but change is gonna come. That right there was some amazing good music that I still listen to today. Now, I'm not gonna say that I don't listen to the new school stuff because I do, but I want to keep walking through that transition of how our music and our media was streamed back in the day or played back in the day. So, we talked about the 8-track, the big blocks. Then we talked about the vinyl and... One of the things that uh, I used to remember from those record players, which are coming back, by the way, if you don't have one, get yourself one, uh, is the way that they used to scratch and skip. I remember people taking that little penny and putting it on the needle to kind of keep the needle steady, so on and so forth. 
I think one of the benefits of having those records was you get that crisp and clear sound. I have a record player in my house. I play yeah. it here. Can you tell the difference between the music played on the record player? Uh, definitely. It's definitely more raw. It's uh, the actual artist, the actual band behind it. You hear that. Okay. I, I, I can get you on that. So after we talked about those CD, those, uh, those records then, that, that vinyl, then came this big shiny disc. What's that called? I mean, I'm assuming CD. CD stands yeah. for compact disc. When CDs came out, we thought the world had changed forever. It changed the way that the music was going to be listened to for years to come. There would be nothing better, right? Do you have any CDs still? I never had a CD. Does your I car even when I was have little. a CD player? No, actually. Cars don't even come with CD players anymore, people. How are we listening to our music? Now, I tell you, I still own a huge box of cassette tapes, and I own a huge box of CDs. And as I say that, I think I actually might have just skipped a segment of that generation of music. We talked about the eight tracks. We talked about the record players. But I skipped something. I skipped the, I skipped the, the, the infamous cassette tapes. The tapes that you used to stick a pencil in and wind it up when the tape came all out and all that other stuff. You know, the, the B-side, that's where B-side came from. You know, when, when the B-side songs were not so great, you always listen to the A-side. And I know some of y'all were probably cheating back in the day and, and recording on the radio and all the other stuff. But do, let me ask you this. Do you remember anything about cassette tapes? I remember seeing them. I used to I used to mess with your cassette tapes. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Play with them. Just play with the little stuff coming out. Let, let me let me bring one up here. I'm going to bring up this cassette tape. I just I just randomly went and searched through my storage today and I found this cassette tape. I still own cassette tapes. This one in particular happens to be MC Hammer. Do you know any MC Hammer songs? Can't touch this. Can't touch yeah, this. That's, that's the most that's popular, easy. famous one. You know, typewriter, uh oh, uh oh, all that other good stuff. Cassette tapes, let me tell you, they still are some classics on these cassette tapes. I'm gonna keep them because one day I know they're probably gonna be worth some money. This is good stuff right here. So I didn't mean to disrespect you, cassette tape lovers out there. I actually have a picture of these on, on my shirt. So cassette tapes were, of course, very, very beneficial at one point in time. So we talked about the eight track tapes. We talked about the vinyl. Mm -hmm. I disrespected the cassette tape lovers out there. And then we get to the CDs, the compact disc things, right? And we used to be able to carry so much around. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to remember any music that you used to listen to when you were listening to your CDs? Um, let me see. Probably be like some old Lil Wayne. Old oh, Lil Wayne. He said uh, Lil Wayne. Said he didn't say Lil Lil Wayne. He said Lil Wayne. Old Lil Wayne. Um, shoot, man, it, it was a lot of a lot of old artists. A lot right? of old yeah. artists, right? Let me ask you this before I keep moving on. What is your favorite genre of music? Um, I have to say, I mean, I'm probably gonna have to go the hip hop route. Hip hop rap. You talking about like today's hip hop rap or like? Classic outcast hip hop. Rap. See, that's the thing with me. I can be versatile. Okay, I, I okay. can sit there one day and play the straight outcast. Okay, just all the oldies. I can listen to some uh, to to whatever, <laughs> whatever, 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 pops whatever up, man. You know what I'm whatever. You know, I I get I get where you're coming from, right? You know, as I as I look through some of my cassette tapes, you know, he he happened to be able to guess the MC Hammer, MC Hammer song. It's pretty popular. But for, for some of you out there, you know, there's stuff like H-Town, right? Somebody rocking, knocking the boots. I'm going to go ahead and put that one away. Y'all probably don't want to talk about that. But we got some greats over here. We got uh, Whitney Houston. I know y'all know Whitney Houston. Everybody knows Whitney Houston, right? I'm going to go on and take us over to the CDs. How about Mariah Carey? Okay. Y'all ever seen what it looks like on the inside of one of these things? You younger generation probably don't know. We used to get these little compact discs, silver on one side, and got the, the image on the other, you know? The thing that we benefited from the most was this little paper inside right here. Where you used to be able to see the songs, see the words, see the producers, all that other good stuff. How are we able to see that? How are we able to get that same feeling today from digital music? Right on your screen. Right on your screen. So how am I supposed to figure out who the producers are? Can I see the lyrics today? Easy. You just click on it. What's your favorite way to listen to music? Favorite way to listen to music? Probably Empty Room. Me and the speaker, just chilling. Okay. Do you know who Anthony Hamilton is, young sir? 
Of course. I'm not going to ask you to sing one of his songs. I ain't going to do you like that. How about T.I.? Yeah, of course. ATL. For those of you that don't know, we, we are from the great state of Georgia. Now, I'm going to let y'all know right here, I'm not here to bash a certain generation of music because I feel like music is versatile. We have to be diverse when we listen to music. I've got my man Kendrick Lamar here on vinyl, Mad City, right? I've got some Bob Marley, too, because sometimes you just want to okay. feel your, your, yeah. your Caribbean yeah. vibes, you know, things like that. If you had to say right now, what is one of your top songs that you love the most, what would that be? Right now, today. Any any area, any age, any area, any age, any era, any genre, whatever you want. All right, I'm gonna have to go. Love you too much by Lucky Day. Yeah, hit you with one you don't know. I actually think I probably have it on my playlist because you know I actually do believe it or not. I get a lot of musical advice from my son. You know he'll shoot me some things via text messages. I will tell you that's one of the advantages of having today's music, right? If somebody's listening to something on Apple Music, I'm like, ah, my son might like this. I just simply share it. He's got it right there in his iMessage. He can pull it right up, listen to it. You know, so I will tell you. I think I know what you're talking about, but uh, it just doesn't ring a bell for me right now. I know for a fact that this young man is diversified when it comes to music. He Definitely. named off hip hop, but I think you like other genres as well, right? I mean, if it's not hip hop, it's R and B. Hip hop and R and B. Let me ask you this question: What does music do for you? Depends on the mood. Depends on my situation in that day. So, day of stress, it can be a release. Day I don't feel like getting up, getting ready, it can be the energy. Okay. I feel that. Mm -hmm. So would you say that, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening in the world today. Um, most of us come from different walks of life, different backgrounds, things like that. Would you say that music is the one thing that ties us all together, regardless of what we look like? One of many, but definitely a primary choice when you are looking to tie something together. You have violinists from China come, on, come to America and they'll play a certain tune and everybody knows what to play. This man's been kind of modest and humble, but I'll tell you this, he knows Frank Sinatra songs. Believe okay. it or not, he Actually. listens to some Frank Sinatra. I remember a few years ago we were riding together and he was kind of playing some Frank Sinatra and all that other good stuff. You know, as he gets older and as I think this younger generation gets around other peers, Sometimes they probably kind of suppress some of that other stuff they used to listen to when they were younger. But uh, I know for a fact that he wasn't solely stuck on hip hop and R&B <laughs> when he was growing up. Right. So um, what, what do you think that we as in the, the, the older people both feel about today's uh, I'll just go ahead and talk about the rap artists. How do you think we feel about today's rap music? So the the common notion is it's mumble rap. Mumble rap is is. So, so what I, what I hear you saying is, I, I don't mean to really interrupt you or nothing, but so, so, so mumble rap, are you telling me that uh, I probably can't truly understand what these young people are saying? Until you pull it from lyrics. Oh, so just listening to it with my two ears, I can't really hear the lyrics that these young rappers are saying, but I have to kind of pull it up on my Apple Music and add a kind of read-along. It's like a read-along. Today is like read-along music. It's like...